I'm sorry to drag you out here in the middle of the night. Is Lisa gonna be upset? She'll be fine. Why are you here? That's one way to greet your loving wife and child. Oh, I mean, it's late. Did you take a bus, or...? What difference does it make? If you haven't seen your son in three days, I thought I'd make that happen for you. And really, this is, this is temporary, right? We get this thing resolved with the bank, and... The hell? I've been kind of an awful husband, haven't I? Yeah. You could disagree just a little bit, you know. I'm hosting a 48-hour business plan challenge at the Techstars New York office in exactly one week. A lot of top startups are going to be there, and so are you. You're still busy at work. You still have a deadline. I'll make it work, I promise. Yeah. I know you'll try it. As you all know, at Techstars, our mission is to create an environment where the best companies can achieve the most ambitious goals. So without further ado, here's Glenn Cheeky, the host of the 48-Hour Business Plan Challenge. Ah, thank you, thank you, yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, is this in tune? Let's try this, huh? So, as David was saying, we help you achieve your goals. That's why, as you work over the next couple days, our experts will be here giving you their advice. Now, I'm gonna play a little song for you. It's called the 40 Hour Business Plan Challenge. There's seven billion of us on the planet already. Do we really need the help? It's a solution looking for a problem. The winner of the 48 Hour Business Plan Challenge. Admit it, admit it, admit it. But it's a money maker if we hit it right. Our target audience is literally anyone over the age of 18. If you have a great product, the business plan practically writes itself. Techstars program where you will be mentored by top professionals in the tech industry. That's the problem though, right? I mean, where's the product? So there you have it, my young coconuts. When I strike my ridiculously awesome gong, you will have exactly 48 hours to make a business plan for a brand new, innovative, and creative product. We're not actually building this thing. We just have to win the contest. If we get into the program, Glenn gives us the money. We can do that, right? But remember, your business plan will only be admitted if your product matches with the theme of our competition, which, as David mentioned earlier, is love. I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to make love to the very idea of loving love, yeah? You have 48 hours. Let's go save our company. Again. Hey, hey, thanks for last night. I needed that. My pleasure. Anytime you want a beating. Yeah, you're surprisingly good at Tekken. Yeah, older brothers. Uh, what are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm going to this party my oh. friend's taking me to. It's, yeah, you want a rematch instead? Valentine's Day party? Yeah, are you going? My friend's dragging me too. Yeah? You want to maybe get drunk and make fun of the mating ritual? Why else should we go? I know, right? Okay, maybe seven, I'll see you there. It's a date. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yep. Bye. <laughs> you know, Glenn aside, this really isn't such a bad idea. If you're into being around a whole lot of people, sure. I read that VCs love companies that go through this program. If we get in, we can raise some serious capital. And then, hey, you can buy yourself an even more ridiculous car. Wait, there are even more ridiculous cars? Haha, look at you two. In New York a day, and you're already as bitter as ever. You know, it's weird being here without Lisa. It's like showing up at your house and seeing someone else's furniture. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. And I think Aaron's life used to be a romantic comedy. And Jack's life still is. That's not true. Everyone knows my life is a gritty, epic Batman movie. So do you miss Lisa? Yeah. Wow, what was that? 
it's just nice to be away sometimes. It helps put things into perspective. Are you two still fighting? No, we haven't really had the time. Whoa, C3D team. Oh, you guys are blowing up. I've been reading about you everywhere. Oh, I'm Alexis Ohanian, Reddit, Hitmonk, BreadPig, and as a member of the New York tech community, we're all about giving advice and helping out other founders, so I, I want to help you guys out with some great advice. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, the lesson is follow the crowd. The, the what? The crowd. Follow it, because we are all herd animals. And one way or another, that cute video of the old people trying to figure out their webcam or some cute little piglet running around in galoshes, that's just Mark Zuckerberg's way of hunting us down and eating us. Think about it. Anyone catch any of that? Yeah, you said you wanted to take a break from Lisa? Then say that. Maybe you can look up Matilda. Shut up, Jack. But who's Matilda? Just a bag of crazy that Aaron used to absolutely love. Wait, Aaron? You have no idea. Hey, sexy. Hi, what are you doing? Mm, I just wanted to say hello, so, hello. Okay, but maybe you could get off oh. me? So I've been thinking. That's funny, I've been not caring. Maybe we should go together tonight. Go together where now? The Valentine's Day thing. I think that we should go together. You remember we broke up, right? No, we did not break up. You broke up. And I'm giving you a chance not to. You remember why we broke up? Come on, Aaron. It's college. Can you be a little open-minded? Just because I want to experiment with other people doesn't mean that I don't love you. Doesn't it, though? Just a little bit. What? Nothing. Just... No. Please? No. Come on. No. You know you want to. I really don't want to. Aaron. No. Matilda, God. Oh, even your name sounds evil. No, just... No, just think about it. I won't. I'd love to see you there. Just... Whee! There is a surprising amount of room in this napkin. That's because it's all been done before. There are a million dating sites. If we reinvent the wheel, we won't win. Can we get three more shots? Forget about the internet for a moment. What about real life? What about it? How do people meet in real life? Bars, clubs? Craigslist? C3D team! Are we making genius? We're making small talk, does that count? And you're doing something with my- No! Was it poisoned? Basically, you're drinking a depressant. What are you guys doing? Drinking a depressant? You're trying to make your users fall in love. How do you go from a napkin to love? Money? Wrong! Why? Here's your hint. Your product is nothing. Yeah, I think we're there already. You make your product about your users, you get them emotionally involved, and they'll become your product. And this is... Life's antidepressant. Drink it, revel in it, give me genius! I love you all. Cheeky out! You gotta, you gotta think. You gotta think. That guy's been walking around all day with his thermos, just waiting for the right moment to use it. And then the moment came. That's like, that's genius, right? That's gotta be genius. Also, I'm drunk. More. More! More? Hey. Cut your hair. No. I'm sorry my friend isn't here yet. He's probably on his way. That's all right. Is everything okay? Yeah, I was supposed to meet this guy, but he's not here either. I guess everybody's standing me up tonight. Huh, yeah, she totally is. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, everybody. Super awesome shirt you're wearing. What did you do with Aaron? Jack, hi. God, your hair looks terrible. I know you did something with him. Is he dead in a ditch somewhere? How should I know where he is? All I did was tell him I was going to be here, and he practically started drooling. He's probably picking up Belle so he can be here with them on. You told him you'd be here? <sighs> Jack. What? Can you remind him that we broke up? He really needs to stop embarrassing himself. Thank you. This is going nowhere. I wouldn't say nowhere. Mm. I'd say we're well on our way to a hangover. Can I steal this? Glenn keeps taking it from the office, sorry. 
You guys were great today, and you. I love you, and I love your hair. Girl power. Okay, weird. Aaron, it's about you. What is what? You're the key. The key? You're the key. You're the only one of us here who's actually found love. If you reverse engineer your process and replicate it, oh, we you can- You can't replicate me, Bryn. I'm what's called the one and only. Wait, you're the one who got Aaron and Lisa together? Let's just say if it wasn't for me, little David would still be a twinkle in his pappy Don't eye. say that. I hate just you a twinkle in a way. What are you, an <laughs> Irish pirate? <laughs> no, I want to hear the story. Like a pirate. Not much of a story. Right? It's not much of a story because Aaron's not much of a storyteller. It took me weeks to get them together. Weeks. And even then, Aaron had to make it difficult. Hello? Oh my god! What the hell? So? What are you gonna do about it, huh? What the hell, are you crazy? Yeah, that's right, someone hurts you, you fight back. Are you seriously trying to prove some kind of point with it? I always knew you were an emotional masochist. I was just curious if you're a physical masochist too. Didn't you punch me so you could say that? Show, not tell, that's what they teach us in creative writing. That is not a real major! Well, it's my major, and you know I'm right. Okay, all right, I'm done wrestling about this. Get out. So she's at the party, so what? Come and have a great time to spite her, or come and have a great time to spite her. I'll introduce you to a great girl, you forget all about crazy face, and then you're gonna thank me for the rest of your life. How is that not fun? God, I hope you grow out of your speeches. Get out! My speeches are fantastic. Get out, Jack! Fine! I'll see you there, all right? Aaron, I can't find my keys. When we were wrestling, I think my keys fell out of my pocket. I thought I heard something fall out while you were slapping me. Come on, Aaron! You know what's right for your small business. I pick the right tools to click with my clients. When it's game time, I have the right answer, no matter the playing field. Your small business is unique. So is our coverage. Hiscox. Get the right insurance right now. Aaron! Oh, oh, I knew you'd come. Why were you waiting there? <laughs> you alone? Obviously. I'm guessing you're not. We're with a few guys, no one's serious. Just meaningless sex. Gross. Okay, good talk. Aaron, I'm joking, come on! You know I'm joking. No, I, I don't know that. I don't know that at all, actually. Look, Aaron, we had a good thing and I screwed it up. I, I know that. How do I get a second chance? Just tell me how and I'll do it. Lisa, hey, you're here. I didn't, I just got here myself. Yeah, and you're already busy. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Lisa, meet my friend. The biggest idiot ever. Is that girl stalking you? I swear, every time I Could see- Could you just her. not stop talking? You were gonna introduce me to Lisa? We just broke up. It's like, show some respect, dude. You've met her? Yeah, she's in my econ class. What, wait, what did you say? I said, she needs to show some respect. Were you watching us? Yeah, I wasn't just gonna let her move right in as if she owns you, was I? This is what this is about? You're actually, you have the nerve to be jealous? Aaron, the thing about Lisa. Yes, I'm jealous. I'm jealous because I love you, and this proves it. You have the same taste in movies, you like the same bands. She even has your annoying habit of making every sentence sound sarcastic. I met her at a party, and after one minute, I felt like I was talking to you. Which, by the way, is the only reason I didn't sleep with her. I wasn't crazy about her face. Don't you dare go out that door. You go and we're done. You understand me? We are done forever. Go, Aaron, go. I got this. Mm -hmm. oh. So, Jack was the one. Yes, technically Jack was the one that made me realize that me and Lisa were, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right, romantic comedy. You have no idea. Except Bruna's right. About what? You are the key, Aaron. Yeah? And which lock do I fit into, Jack? Think about it. What do we know when we're young? We meet some guy or girl, we flirt, we laugh, and next thing you know, our bodies are so flooded with hormones, we don't know up from down. One day we're with the most perfect person on earth, the next that person's the devil. Who changed? What changed? Can we really trust ourselves with these things? Sometimes I think our ancestors had it right, and arranged marriages are the way to go. Left to our own devices, all we do is cause pointless drama, and it's always pointless in retrospect. So I'm pretty sure Jack's gonna sleep with my ex so we can have this talk. It's 
noble of him. Yeah, well, you don't really know Matilda. I don't know if noble is necessarily the... Oh, I see what you did. You do make everything sound sarcastic. Do I? So I guess there's the time machine option. Future Aaron could do a great job picking girlfriends for past Aaron. What happened to your eye? Jack punched me in the face to make a point. He thinks you and I are supposed to end up together. I can't believe Jack was going to introduce me to you. Yeah, well, if it's any consolation, I didn't know either. Hey, why did you invite me if you knew you were going to meet some other guy? Because I didn't want to meet another guy. Why did you tell me we were going to hang out when you were going to meet another girl? Because I didn't really want to meet another girl. Jack's pretty persuasive. Yeah. Barring that, who are the most impartial observers that understand us best? They're our friends. The people who know us, but choose to spend time with us anyway. And that's my idea. Erin, I know you still have feelings for her. And she obviously wants to get back together, so maybe you should give it another shot. Have you ever met someone who is so different from you that opposites attract doesn't even begin to describe it? That's Matilda and I. I don't know what she's thinking, like, most of the time. It's different with you. It's... I feel like we're... On the same page? No, I was gonna say moving too fast, but yeah, I mean, yours is probably the, the thing I should have said, <laughs> but that's... Right. Yeah. <laughs> our product is a website for friends to pick our love matches. We use the crowd, there's a whole lot of emotional investment, and the best thing of all, we know it works. God, I do give great speeches. <laughs> so, would we still be on the same page if I was... Dude, I've been waiting like a year now. Still moving too fast? A little bit, I don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? I need men in black for Brain in San Francisco. Have you ever seen me leave the office? Good point. Erin, I know it's none of my business, but are you sure you and Lisa are okay? Yeah, we're fine. Why? We've been really unhappy as of late. I can tell. When you snap at Jack any chance you get, Derek's constantly diving into empty offices when he sees you in the hallway. I sound terrifying. You are. You don't seem terrified, though. I don't scare easily. I'm just saying, if you ever need to talk, Bryn, are you actually concerned about me under all that black makeup? What can I say? I have a soft spot for unavailable men. Tell Lisa. Do you? It's been weird. It's been damn weird. Yeah, look, another month, two at most. We're trying our best, Jack. What if there was a way the other teams didn't do their best? What? I hate you, Jack. it mattered? After everything you put us through? After everything you did to us? You didn't think it mattered? some chalk on the side of the road I hope one day you'll find it then you'll know just where to go